guys, from 346 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 17. Let's go back and continue with Rider Career Mode. We haven't done this mode in such a long time. We are on the AGR KTM in Moto3 at the moment. And we are racing at Bruno, so we're getting towards the tail end of the season. Uh, like I said, we haven't played this game mode for such a long time, just because I've been engrossed in managerial career mode for such a long time. So, let's see what we can do on the AGR KTM at Bruno, at the back of the grid. Let's go do this. Of course, I have up the laps for this category as well, so we're doing six laps around Bruno. Obviously not getting as good starts as what we do in the MotoGP category. But we're up to 24th at the moment. So we've got the inside of loads of them as they all go wide. And we are up to 19th place. We've got Darren Binder by looks of it who tried to come past us but we held him off. And we're up to 17th. One Frank Guevara just ahead of us. On the brakes up the inside of three of them. And we're up to 14th in the points already. Is behind Livio Loy. Get a good run out of here. Honda just pulling away. The KTM down on power. Okay, up the inside of Digi Antonio. So up to 12th place. And we've got Rodrigo and Barge through on Pastianini as well. So we're up to 10th. We've got a long way to go still. Still on the first lap and we've got six laps to do all together as we try and get the inside of Filiberto and Jorge Martin. They're going to come underneath, no they're not. But we've got Bulliga. Mino's up next. I think we've got a good run on him. KTM versus KTM. Slightly better spec KTM for Mino though. Our AGR KTM, not that great. At the moment it's doing doing us proud. We're in 7th as we switch to the inside of Mino to try and put up the inside. There we go. John McPhee is in 5th place. Oh, Mino's back through. So he's still in 7th place at the moment. Like I said, we've got a long way to go in this race. Again, the AI weaving over to the right hand side before they go into the left. Mino trying to get McPhee. We've got the inside of Mino and McPhee, so we're up to fifth. Mir done the fastest lap, but I think that was taken away from us. I that's gonna, not going to say. Up the inside. No, not quite going to work there. Antonelli and Romano, Fanati really fighting there, but we've got Fanati and a slipstream, and we've got past him. So fourth place. Got to try and beat Juan Mir, who's out front. He's pulling away from Canet in second. Bastianini on the factory KTM, the Red Bull KTM. Can we get through on our customer KTM? Plays in on the brakes. We shove up the inside here. Yeah, up to third. There we go. It looks like Canet is actually closed in on Mir. So Canet is chasing down on Joan Mir. We've got to try and catch up to Aaron Canet. Which we're doing. Third at the moment. We're on the podium. Good thing is with these Moto3 bikes, you don't tend to have as many moments as what you do with the MotoGP bikes. You don't tend to lose the rear. Of course, tyre wear is on, but my tyres are absolutely spot on, so it looks like they haven't degraded at all. Obviously, they haven't got a huge amount of power, these bikes. In the slipstream mechanic, he's going to go off to the right any minute now. Up the end. There he goes. We've got him. Mir is up next. As it all seem to go really wide into the first corner. So let's see if Mir does it as well. Because he leaves the door 
open massively. Into the first corner. Yeah, he's going in there really, really wide. We take a tighter line and we are momentarily there. We go back into the lead. But he's going to have the luxury of using slipstream. Obviously, we haven't got anyone in front of us, so we can't. And that Honda is quicker than our KTM. Up the inside he comes, or he tries to. There he goes. He eventually makes it through. Take a wide sweeping line to get a good exit. And we're back on him, back in his slipstream. Pulling alongside. And let's see if we can put up the inside for this right-hander. Yes, we can. So back into the lead. Is he going to take a tighter line? No, he's not. So, in the lead. Oh, we've gone wide there, though. Oh, he eventually comes past. Nudges us aside. As we try and repay him the favour, but we're on the wrong side. Though we are trying to get around the outside of him, but not going to work. The best of exits either. Oh, looking behind me. That put me on the grass. Canet's going to come alongside us. And up the inside. So we're back down to third. We can cut back under him. Get a good exit. Yes, we can. So second place. Up the hill we go. Now we've got to catch back up to Mir latch onto the back of him and see if we can get back into the lead and pull away. Okay, so we're almost pretty much with him already. We'll probably get him into the first corner again. We'll use his slipstream again. Got a big gap over Canet. Lap number four of six in the first corner. Again, he takes a very wide line. Tries to go around the outside, but he's gone way too wide now. I don't think he's going to get a good run on us this time. I think we've got him. I say that, but he's still right behind us. Doesn't manage to get up the inside this time, though. We managed to stay in the lead. As we go right. Now we need to see if we can pull away from him. Rear tyre just starting to go now. But the rear is going to be absolutely fine for the whole race. The front hasn't lost any life in it whatsoever. So we're not very hard on our front tyre in Moto3 by the looks of it. Pulling away from Mir now. Split. It's 1.1 seconds back to Mir. And it's obviously a deeper field in Moto3 as well. We had more people to try and get in front of. But we have managed it. Hopefully we can continue this. I've completely forgotten what our lead is in the championship. I know it's quite a healthy lead. So we will extend that. But we will have to wait and see after this race to see what it actually is. It's still only 1.1. 1, 1. 1. We haven't really pulled out any more. Come around to start the penultimate lap. And hopefully we can uh, continue doing this. Big gap now, just on the fastest lap again. Only 1.3, so it's gone up two tenths. Just good through there. We got this covered. I can't see me catching back up to us. We've got one more lap to go after this one. This is the penultimate lap. Our front tide just started to uh, lose a little bit of... Uh, life but not a huge amount our rear still absolutely fine 1.6 that is fine that's spot on what we need it and it's all going well obviously 
obviously. It's taken a little while to get used to a Moto 3 bike again. Bearing in mind I didn't do any qualifying. So hence why I'm just getting quicker and quicker as the race goes on. Two point four now, almost two and a half seconds on the grass again. Those black lines. Up the hill we go. But it looks like we're on course for another win. Unless something drastic happens, but I don't think that's going to happen. Fingers crossed anyway. The gap. 2.2 has come down a couple of tenths. So we've lost a couple of tenths to Mir somewhere. Maybe that was when we went on the grass. So it is final lap time. 2.2. Whole lap, and we've got a big gap. We can just cruise home, have a little wheelie. We can do a bit of showboating on the final lap. This is definitely going to plan. Another wheelie. 2.2, so that's fine as we try and pop another wheelie. Not as easy to pop a wheelie on the Moto 3 bikes. Obviously, I haven't got anywhere near as much power to try and pull that front wheel up in the air. I mean, all that pissing around has let me catch up slightly, but we've still got over a second, so it's fine. Give it a split. Yeah, it's 1.6 again. So just the final sector of the race to go. And we're done at Bruno on our AGR KTM. Up the hill. Tires feel absolutely fine. Two corners left. 1.6 still. And then final corner, and we are done with Bruno on our AGR KTM in Moto 3. Like I said, we are over halfway through this season. So we'll have to wait and see what our points gap is. Obviously we won. 32 point lead. So yeah, quite a healthy lead. Just over a whole race win's worth. So going to plan at the moment. Going very well at the moment. So, next race, and then we've got one more race to do after that for this video. Like I said, races will take slightly longer, obviously with the Moto 3 bike, but next one is the Red Bull Ring in Austria. What can we do there in Moto 3? Spielberg, let's go do this. And it's going to be a wet race by the looks of it. But I'm ready. I'm ready for this. It's going to be quite a tough race, I think, this one. Just because it's such a short track. And it is quite hard to overtake right, here. But it's looking like it's going to just be a wet track race. It doesn't look like it's going to rain. But who knows? Let's go. Straight to the back of after a Poover Pat. 
Oh, fuck's sake, they're all getting in the way. Through the first corner. Maria Herrera, our teammate just ahead of us. We're down in 27th place as we just get ahead of her. Well, not quite, we're side by side with her. In fact, she's in front of us now. But we're going to have a load of them on the brakes. The inside, we made up fuck knows how many places there, like 10. And we're in the points. We've got one single point at the moment. We're in 15. Rodrigo is our next target. Get him on the brakes. We're going in a bit too hot. Okay, well, we... Oh, no, Lloyd came back past, but we're up to 13. Digi Antonio in 8th. With Bulliger in ninth. Ah, oh, he got on the brakes so early for this corner. Got oh, Bastianini. We eventually got him. I knew this wouldn't be an easy race. I can't remember how the Moto 3s are around that last corner. I know the Moto 2s are horrible. It is starting to rain. So I was wrong, it's not just going to be a wet track race. Again, I've got it wrong. I've got it wrong in managerial career. Now, Moto 3 bikes are fine around the final corner. This looks a lot brighter in the sky. I was expecting it just to be a wet track race, but it's not. At the inside of Rodrigo and Noradin. We've got Darren Binder just ahead of us on the Platinum Bay KTM. Platinum Bay Real Estate KTM. So we are 14. Into the hairpin at the inside of a few of them. Went in a little bit too hot. But we still made up more places than we lost. We only lost one place to Digi Antonio. But we're up to 11th place. We made three up. In Digi's slipstream. We'll go up the inside. A bit wide again. Is he going to come up the inside? No, he's not. So we are on lap two of seven. So there's no rush to get to the front, but as long as we stay with the front group, then we should be all right. Right behind Bulliger now. We'll just follow him around the penultimate corner. Try and get a good run through the final corner. Not go too wide. Slip streaming. First corner closing down on Mino. In fact, we've gone up the inside of him, hit the curb on the inside, but luckily stayed on. We're up to ninth. The higher we're getting, the less easy it is to make passes. But we've just done the fastest lap of the race. Mino's slipstreaming and going to come past. We have to try and outbreak him. Can we get Bulliger and McPhee and Fanati as well? Yes, we can. So we're up to sixth place. I don't like Mir was on the curb there, would have been spinning up. He's got Ertel right behind him, in fact, right beside him. He's lost out of Canet as well. We're going to get him as well. Mir really lost a load of drive there, going on the curb. We are up to fifth. He's trying to outbreak us. Mir is very good in the brakes in real life. One of his strong points on the brakes. But we got him. We're up to fourth. Canet is just ahead of us. Trying to get the inside. So Jorge Martin is in the lead. And Antonelli is in second. Of course, this being KTM's home race. Factory KTM in second. Customer KTM in third with us. Canet's not letting it go. He's trying to come underneath and he's got us. Back down to fourth place. Into the final corner. Trying to get a good run through. We drifted wide out onto the curb. Spun up a little bit. 
That lost us a little bit of drive. Standing, can it slipstream? Can we outbreak him into the first corner? No, we can't. In fact, we're getting outbroked by Ertel. So Ertel is through. We're back down to fifth place. I'm not entirely convinced we can win this. Don't seem to have just enough speed as we get Canet. We get Ertel on the brakes. So Are we going to go too hot? Yeah, a bit too hot into there. Trying to get back into Martin's slipstream. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to win this race if we can. Just got to go as quick as we can, obviously. Just stay with these guys. But this final sector, after this left-hander, which is coming up now, is where we are weakest. Good on the brakes into here. Antony has got a bit wide. In fact, so we've got Martin as well. So into the lead. I wasn't expecting that. Considering we were miles behind on the beginning of this lap. But we're into the lead. Can we stay here? I very much doubt it. They're probably both going to slipstream and come back past. Martin's coming through. On the brakes. Antonelli's through as well, is he? He's trying. He's going to have Martin up the inside as well. Try and get a good run out. Alongside Martin. We've got him. We're back up to second. Antonelli in the lead. At KTM's home race in Austria. We need to try and get past him. Into the first corner. Went in there a bit too hot. Antonelli on the kerb. Lap 5 of 7. The rain. Not too heavy, but it is still raining. Martin coming around the outside. Up the inside for us. As we go into the hairpin. In too hot. Way too hot. We're going to lose the lead. Oh! Holy shit! Sorry, Martin. That was a massive clout. This is I came back on track. Martin was right there and I went, well, we both collided. Tried to get back into the lead, back down a second. But unfortunately, that has resulted in Martin crashing. Got to try and get Antonelli now. KTM 1 2. Up the inside. Not quite holding it. Yes, we do. All right. Oh, Antonelli's coming up the inside. Can we close the door? No, we can't. Need the final corner. We need to stay with him. Slipstream him. Two laps left to go. Penultimate lap. Can we get the inside in the first corner? We're alongside him, so that is fine. Now, can we pull away? We won't pull away up this bit, but we'll probably pull away on the brakes into this next right-hand hairpin. He's trying to get us. He's trying to find a way past. But we've got to get on the brakes. No! He's put him on later. He's back through. I wasn't expecting that. Antonelli back into the lead. Slipstream him again. Alongside him. Back into the lead. Antonelli putting up a terrific fight. Back up the inside of me. I'll try to. Yeah, he is eventually going to get through. Or is he? He's still there, but we're going to break him into this next corner. It's side by side, up the inside. And we're drifting wide. We've still got it, it's fine. Can't believe how much of a fight he's putting up. But we should be able to just eke away now. But will he attack again into this right hand? He's going to have a go. He likes it into this corner. He's already in front of us. Nothing we could do. Try to get underneath him. Yes, we can. 
into the final corner. We've got one more lap to go. Is he going to slipstream us into the first corner? He's right behind us. It's like can it in. No, it's Erterwin third. He's catching us. On the brakes. He's coming up the inside. As we cut back underneath him and get a better exit out. He's gone on the curb. That will halt uh, his acceleration. We've got a better drive out the first corner. But he's coming still. He's not going to have us on the brakes this time. Get it stopped. Ertel's right there as well. Oh yeah, we're just pulling away from Antonelli now. Just edging away. Our tyres haven't actually degraded at all in the wet. I don't think Antonelli... Well, we need a bit of a gap. For the penultimate corner because he likes overtaking into there. We've got half a second at the moment. We've gone very wide. We can cut that back for a very late apex. Yes, we can. We need this little buffer. Come on. Keep it going. Front is just degraded slightly, but not much at all. Yeah, we've got a good gap now. Point seven. He's not going to have us into the penultimate corner. We've gone on the curb and going to go wide. But we're just staying ahead. We've got final corner to go. In we go. Out we come. Now just a run to the line. Hopefully he won't slipstream us. It's going to be pretty close. But we're going to take it. That was a difficult race. But we got the victory. Bit of a racing incident between myself and... Jorge Martin, but we've got a good lead over Mir now. So that went to plan. Okay. Final race of the video. Let's go do this. We're racing at Silverstone, the British Grand Prix, my home race. I'm ready. Here we go. The line, we've got a pretty decent start. 28th at the moment. Maria Herrera just ahead of us. We go past her into the first corner. She's trying to get back past us, so. Yep, she's back through. Uh, we should make up a few places there. Well, two of them anyway. The inside of Ben Snyder, no. Around the outside of him. Wasn't expecting that to work, but it did. Arbelino up next. We got him. Get Della Porter as well. In the slipstream. Come on. Ooh. Not quite happening. My dog making me jump as well getting into that corner. Fuck's sake. For the first time he's done that. Okay. As we try and get up the inside. We're up to 21st. So, can we make any more places up? Through the right hand there. Uh, so, still only 21st. I'm quite surprised at how little progress we've actually made on this lap. Maybe we can make a bit more up before the end. Darren Binder is up next. got Binder and Suzuki as well. And we've got Ramirez. He's on a KTM as well. Not quite getting him. We're going to get Rodrigo up the inside. And we got Noradin the inside. Sasaski, we got him as well. Danilio, George Danilio is up next. So we've got two points at the moment, 14th place. Nowhere near Danilio to get up the inside there. We can slipstream him. 
Here we go around the outside, through here, up the inside, it puts around the outside, we got him! Okay, 13th place, we need to get the hammer down to catch the group ahead. It's a big group as well. Ramirez and Danilo are exchanging places behind us, but we've got Filiberto just ahead of us. Only five laps of Silverstone to do. We're on lap number two. Fanati is fighting at the front. We haven't made that much of an inroads into him just yet. There's still a bit of a gap to try and bridge up to Bastianini now, who's in 12th place. So half a second we've got to make up. We should be able to do it in this next series of corners. Yep, we closed up there. Hopefully close up on the brakes as well. Yes, we do. So we're on the back of the beast. So we've got the inside. Almost got Erto as well. Not quite working there. He's looking over his shoulder. So 12th place. Bastianini just behind us. But is he going to try and outbreak us? We thought about it as we try and get Martin. Let's see, we had that coming together at Austria. We got the inside of Ertel. Mir is out in front. Ertel's coming around the outside and back into 10th place, so we're back down on 11th. This is a proper Moto 3 race going on right now. Lap number 3. Bastianini's through, he's gone wide though. We've got a good run through there. We're going to get Ertel, we're going to get Loy. No, we're not going to get Ertel. Trying to get up the inside. We've got him and Antonelli. Almost John McPhee, yes we do. We've got wide though. We've got McPhee and Digi Antonio. Okay, so we're up to 6th place. Can we get any further than 6th? We need to if Mir's out in front. Fanati is in 5th. Into the chicane. Oh, I thought someone was going to go up the inside there, but they didn't. Oh, bit of a barge there to uh, Fanati. But we got him up to fifth. Come on. Through the right hand there. Uh, it's Kanet who's in fifth. Then Bulliger. Then Mino, then Mir. So we are on the back of Canet. Not close enough to shove up the inside though for a block pass. We've got a Honda leading, then two KTMs, then another Honda, then another KTM. We're not going to get them here. In fact, they all pulled away down there, but Canet has gone very wide. Right on the back of him as we try and shove up the inside here. Yeah, up to fourth. As we come round to start the penultimate lap. They have got a huge gap. What on earth happened there? 1.2 second gap. We've got to try and make it. Whoa, Antonelli barges his way through, as does Fanati, but we hold off Fanati. So we're back down to fifth. We've got to get Antonelli again. All this fannying around is going to let the leaders get away. Breaking on the curve. That sent us a bit wide. Back up the inside of Ant Antonelli though. Oh, they went a bit wide ahead of us. It's under a second. Still got another lap after this. We just need to get away from the guys behind. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Antonelli is coming. Here he comes. There he goes. Try and get back underneath him. Yes, we do. 
Back up to fourth. We need to stop fighting. Mir is down to third place. Can it trying to go the long way around? That's not going to work. Drifting wide on the curb. Oh, hit in the rear by Canet. 1.5 seconds to Mir now. This fighting is not helping us. We are dropping back from the lead in three. Do what I can, but Mir is up to second. But looks like Bulliger is going to try and get back past him. Up the inside he goes. Bulliger back up to second. That would do me a favour. Because if Mir finishes in third and we finish in fourth, if we do in fact finish in fourth, because Antonelli's coming back through and is can it. And we got back past him, so back up the fourth. Yeah, if Mir finishes third and we finish fourth, he won't gain that many more points on us. So it will be damage limitation. We're not going to catch the front guys. I'm pretty adamant about that. We are not going to catch him. That gap is way too big. It's near enough two seconds now. Jorge Martins coming past. Shove up the inside. Back up the fourth. 1.7 seconds to Mir. Fuck all back to Martin as we go through here. That was better that time. That allowed us to pull away slightly. That's given us a bit of breathing space. Right, and catch these guys. We pretty much have that gap, I think. Split a second. So we've taken point seven out. I don't think it's enough, though. First sector of the track is our strongest point of the track. I don't think we're going to make any more. Of course I'll try, but I think it's going to be in vain. We haven't dropped these guys behind either. They've caught back up. Our rear tyre is about half used. But it's fine because it's the final lap. 1.2 again. The gap's gone back up. We are not going to get anywhere near these front guys. Mir's just gone back up to second. These two fighters let Mino get out in the lead. So Mino is going to take the win by the looks of it. Starting to close in a bit more, but it's going to be too little too late. It was 1.2. It is just under it, well, just over a second. So we've made up 0.2 of a second, but with just a few corners left to go. Can we hold on to fourth place? I don't know. Canet is right behind us. Bulliger has got Mir again. If Bulliger can stay there. That will do us good. Oh, I thought Mir was going to get him back. But Mir is going to end up in third. Minio is going to take the win. Bulliger is going to take second just from Joanne Mir. And we are just going to take fourth. They were catching me. Canet and Ertel both very close. But the line beckoned and we managed to take fourth place. That was a tough race. That was a very tough race. Didn't quite know what happened. But we uh, finished in fourth. We're still leading the championship by a healthy margin. Whew. That was tough, but I enjoyed that. That was a good race. Definitely had to work for that fourth place. Haven't had to work that hard for a fourth place for a while. That's good. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.